happened to us, Father? Dante betrayed me. There's nothing left for me here. Alright, what's going on everybody? This is Craig here and I'm playing the, uh, the new Devil May Cry DLC, uh, DLC. I was say DMC though, that's what the game's actually called, but uh, yeah, this is Virgil's Downfall uh, DLC after the... Whoa! That's weird. Yeah, this is a DLC for after you've been in the game, although I think you can guess you can just play it whenever. Although if you've actually, you know, if you're playing this or watching this, I assume that you, you know you've beaten the game already. <laughs> yeah, that makes a, a lot more sense the first time you play it, but since I've already beaten it, I have like his like sort of super maxed out evil form with all his powers and whatnot, and uh, or like you know at least with his you know abilities and whatnot that you unlock through the the game. And yeah, normally he doesn't have his amulet because uh, for some reason I don't know. Shit's been crazy in this place. Some sort of. I think it's supposed to be Limbo, but I'm not really sure. It might all just be in his head. Who knows? But yeah, uh, overall, DLC was good, and the, uh, the actual game is really good as well. I was surprised how good it was. Pretty much the only thing I don't like about the game is, uh, you know, I don't really like Cat, and I also don't really like Dante that much. I mean, he's not too bad, but the other Dante from the other games is just so much better. You know, he's kind of you know, he's fun. This one is just emo wanker. Lost? Damn, I can't kill Dante as a kid. But a uh, version of this game is pretty badass and he's extremely badass by the end of this DLC. I'm gonna check actually, did, did I get all the stuff from over there? Because I'm missing two health fragments on this level. Apparently I did. Well, I'm not really sure where they are. I've got to look out for them and uh, Lost Souls. Although I think I've got them all in this game. Oh, in this level I should say. You got yourself a nice veiny face there, Virgil. See that cutscene right there and like this fight here is pretty much um well I said the only problem. Like the only problem with like the sort of gameplay in this game is just that you can see where the fights are gonna be from like, you know, a mile away because they're always in like sort of enclosed areas that have some sort of doorway that will get sealed off. You know, you, it's not like in the, the other games where you know you'll just fight enemies like all over the place. Which, you know, I think is better. It's, it's kind of annoying. It, it makes it... I mean, obviously, in all the games, you're just fighting. But I think it makes it a bit more repetitive when you just sort of... You find them in, like, the same sort of enclosed location every time. Well, I guess it's not a huge flaw. I mean, one of the, uh, the strong points of this game is the, the boss battles are pretty, uh, they're pretty cool. They're all different, which is a, a good thing. And the platforming is, is pretty good as well, like, it's fun. 
Any doorways or anything to go down here? I don't think I have any upgrade over the points. I've got almost all the upgrades anyway, it's pretty much just uh, unlocking some of the the higher level stuff. What? You're trapped here, just like me. But you can escape. You still have a chance. The light. Find the light and get out of here. The light? Okay, mother. I don't even know why this guy is here. There's like two enemies. I mean, uh, like, they already sent like a whole room full, so I don't think two's gonna really do anything. But I, I will say now that I am not the greatest uh, Devil May Cry player. Like, I'm, I'm a lot better at this game than I am at the other games, but I think this game is a lot easier than the other ones. And uh, there will be a lot of me falling off the edge because of the way like the camera angles are on this is you know it can be quite you know it sort of gets in the not gets in the way like it will get you killed because like you know the depth perception and stuff you'll think you're not near the edge and then you will be and you'll drop off I mean I don't think you can't run off the edge but if you oh no you <laughs> never mind you can't normally run off the edge you normally you'll just stay on but you can jump off the edge if, especially if you're in the middle of an attack but apparently you can just walk off the edge, so uh, that is news to me. That's kind of funny. God damn it, these things are annoying. You don't do a lot of damage, but they're pretty much just there to be a nuisance when you're fighting groups of enemies. Now see, he won't, he won't fly off the edge with that attack, which is good at least. Launch everything up in the air. Yeah, you get down here. I'm gonna pull out my devil trigger. So you know you don't actually have your devil trigger at the start as well. You have to unlock that later on because for some reason he loses his amulet. I don't really know why, but yeah. So you have this one, and you also have the doppelganger that he has in the. Uh... Well, you have that in Devil May Cry 3 as well, actually. But he has that in the. Uh... And like the last fight as well. Oh no, run Virgil, run! Ah oh, well, that's good. <laughs> I thought he was going to grab on the edge there, but apparently that's too difficult for him. Oh god, god damn it! I, uh, I wanted to angel dash there, but he just didn't do it. There we go. Oh, no, nearly fell off. Yay, it was so awesome. Yeah, that was embarrassing. I'll do like all right on the fights, and then I'll just uh, ruin it by, you know, fucking up the platforming bits, and not even like difficult bits like there. It's just like you just didn't make the jump. Oh god, I say I'll do all right in the fights, and I go and get hit twice straight away. Devil trigger definitely helps with getting your S ranking up. Get over here. Yeah, some of these attacks that like, you have to like release them at the certain time and it'll do like more damage and they'll also like hit enemies in the like uh, like the invulnerable modes or whatever the hell they call it and also enemies that can't normally be lifted. Which is pretty nice. I don't know how he's hitting me there considering I was doing like the sort of area of effect attack. But whatever. Can't do everything perfect, I guess. I thought I was getting attacked there by someone, and I realised it was my uh, doppelganger. These things are really annoying. 
Not because like the like the hard to kill or anything, but just you know the hard to hit. They like to back away a lot. Oh yeah, the the cutscenes, the cinematics in this game are really cool. Like like sort of comic books. Hey Virgil, you're not going anywhere. How does it feel, brother, to be beaten again? Oh, Dante, you so mean.